Okay guys, welcome to another dark table video, but this is going to be a dark table video with a difference because I'm coming at this using dark table on certain raw files from the perspective of somebody who teaches Lightroom raw therapy and also uses dark table and a lot of people are interested in comparing the three and what makes me choose one over the other well i'm not going to address the choice in this video but what i am going to address is a problem i keep getting asked about why do my raw files look different in all three raw processes these are the lightroom raw therapy and dark table the way i look at things is really simple you can't have enough tools in your toolbox if you are a photographer. You just simply can't afford to not take advantage of every single tool you have at your disposal. And the thing is, with dark table and raw therapy, they're both free. So these tools have no financial cost to you at all there's no denying it um, by default the three processes that i'm talking about lightroom dark table and raw therapy do by default produce images that look different from each other and so there's this one file in dark table uh, there it is in raw therapy and you know when you flick between the two they look hugely different and the reason it looks different in raw therapy is because a it's a different processor and therefore it interprets your images in a slightly different manner and b i've got raw therapy set up to give me the best starting point when i begin to process an image and it is fundamentally in a neutral state so it's not doing anything to the actual image and then of course you've got the guys who are using lightroom such as myself quite a lot of the time simply because lightroom is the go-to raw processor adobe's marketing is seen to that it is without any arguments whatsoever the single most popular raw processor on the bloody planet you can't argue with that it's a simple fact of life some people might say it's a sad fact of life others might not but this is what upsets me the most when somebody is used to using a and other raw processors such as lightroom and then they go and try raw therapy for instance their image looks different from what they're used to from the get-go and what it does it puts them off and if it puts them off there's the problem because they've got to learn how to correct the image and they've got to learn how to use the tools to develop the image and in free FOSS raw software such as raw therapy and dark table that can be a bit of a hill to climb and what they're not doing they're not allowing themselves to get onto the learning ladder just because they're getting a bit of a panic because the image looks so different and they go oh my god i don't like this i don't like what it's done to my image and uh, there you go um, their learning process comes to a grinding halt so what i want to do is to show you how to even out lightroom raw therapy and dark table so that all three bits of software give you the same rendering of a pretty much neutralized raw file so that your images uh, look the same and represent a good neutral starting point so what we'll do is first of all we'll add off back over to dark table okie dokie if you remember in the last dark table video i did show you how to make particular automatic presets for 
output color profile which as you can see is set to pro photo input color profile which as you can see is set to linear pro photo and d mosaic which is set to rcd plus vng4 uh, and that is where we basically left things in the last dark table video now if i switch out to raw therapy you can see there is this very self-same image with absolutely nothing done to it. You can see there in the history panel, nothing has been done to it whatsoever. Ignore the last save. This is just something that Raw Therapy does on Mac at least, even though it has just got the mybase.pp3 uh, profile applied to it. But if we come to Lightroom, we can see the image looks different again. And this is because of Lightroom's excessive crappy background adjustments. So when I teach people Lightroom, the first thing I teach them to do is how to make a process version swap profile. And that is what the image looks like. There is also the other way you can do it, uh, which is by going to the basics panel and just switching the processing profile to a flat or linear profile and as you can see that does the job exactly well it doesn't do it exactly the same it's nearly the same if i go and apply my process version swap and close the profile browser you can see that's switched back to adobe standard we've got a few adjustments in here but mainly uh, it's this inverted subtle ass shape tone curve which is being brought to bear, which makes the image look like it does here. If we were to go to basics and uh, it reset settings and go back to Lightroom's god awful processing of it, we could then switch back out to this linear profile and click close. And now we can see what our raw file looks like, but it's got, it's still a little bit contrasty because we all know those who follow me on lightroom they all know that this linear profile is not really linear it's a medium contrast tone curve so if you've already made my pb swap profile then you can come in here switch out to the pbs curve or oh, which puts that little subtle inverted s-shaped tone curve on um, and we're away yes job sorted so that's what the image now looks like in lightroom personally i actually prefer my process version swap it, it is a more realistic version of what the raw file looks like and if we go back to raw therapy you can see we've got pretty much this self same image by default when we bring the image into raw therapy and you know i mean they do look very similar or let's just minimize that or hide that and hide that and then come and slide the two images together so you can see them. virtually no difference is there okay but when we come to dark table this is what the image looks like automatically when you bring it into dark table and here under this um, main module panel this is the panel you should always be referencing because it tells you every single module that is available to you in dark table that is actually turned on and is actually showing you this image all right or creating this image that you can see here and this has got too much contrast in it to actually be showing you what the raw file looks like originally okay now we can just go to original here in the history stack and there you go that's what it looks like according to dark table what we can do now is go to output color profile and we can go and hit that raw preset and that will set our output profile to pro photo which has no bearing on the image itself we can now come to the input profile and we can switch out to that raw preset that we made which now switches the working profile from linear rec 2020 to linear pro photo and d mosaic and you can see is at rcd which is the default for 
dark table and we can hit the raw preset for that which we made in the previous video and that brings the demosaic into the ng4 uh, but you'll notice there are a few things missing from here that were there before one of them being uh, this one over here which is color calibration uh, that's on by default and i've actually now turned it off okay and all we need to do is come into white balance and just move from camera reference which a lot of people would think was referencing the white balance in the camera that's actually attached to the raw file uh, no it isn't it's actually referencing a dark table database and i'm just going to show you the difference now between the dark table database reference for this particular camera which is the d800e and the actual recorded white balance uh, ooh, which is that and you can see there is a massive massive difference now then what do these images now look like in comparison to each other just take notice of this and then let's switch back to raw therapy and there you go they look identical and we already know that this image in raw therapy looks pretty much identical to this image in Lightroom. So, coming back to Darktable, that's what we've done. And now we've got a good solid baseline inside Darktable to actually begin working on our image. And the tools available in um, Darktable are something else indeed but as i said before i just keep getting asked all the time why do my images look different well now you know um, that they don't actually look different if you do this little process if i step back to original in the history stack and then go and compress history stack again you can see it brings back dark tables defaults okay right with obviously the settings differences that we made well what you could do is turn off filmic and then go and store that as a new preset you could turn off color calibration and then store that as a new preset by clicking there and then we could also come to exposure and turn that off and then save that as a new preset and personally i would leave highlight reconstruction turned on because i always have it turned on automatically inside a raw therapy um, though i don't have any settings applied to it it just does what it does in the background so uh, there you go um, you could go and do those presets but personally i just come back to original and then just apply the raw presets here because to me it, it's just a cleaner way of doing it i haven't worked out yet how to actually uh, make a preset of this panel here uh, maybe todd can tell me how to do it um, i'd love to be able to make a preset of that and if i go to white balance and switch it again from the default camera reference over to uh, camera and uh, facilitate that change to the image um, if i try and save that as a uh, new preset it will apply it but it always applies it as user modified and it, it doesn't seem to work right but I, I don't think that's an inherent dark table problem i just think it's a problem with the mac installation so uh, there you go but i mean at the end of the day we've got similar looking starting points in dark table uh, raw therapy and lightroom so anybody who's either working with lightroom and wants to follow along with them um, what i'm doing in teaching you raw therapy or trying to uh, work out dark table that's the simple answer you can make the presets if you want to over in dark table i just go and turn them off and change them so, um, there you go yeah and god forbid <laughs> don't forget all you dark table fanboys and um, that some people are actually trying photoshop as well and when they go and buy photoshop they look at the money and they see that if they buy lightroom as well they get it much cheaper 
by going through the photographic bundle. So you've got people who are using raw therapy, people who are using dark table, who actually then go and get Lightroom as well. Um, they're few and far between, but there are some people, I do know at least two of them who've been in contact with me over the last uh, three weeks, and uh, there you go. <laughs> It's basic, they're basically people who are Linux users who are switching over to a PC, yeah, uh, because they rather like the idea of Photoshop more than anything else. So uh, there you go, guys. That's how to make your images look the same or look the same as a starting point uh, between Darktable, uh, Raw Therapy, and uh, Lightroom, should you choose to have Lightroom on your system. Okay guys, hope you found that useful, hope you found it interesting. Uh, stay safe, stay well, keep taking the pictures. Don't forget, if you want to uh, see some exclusive video content uh, that's hidden away from general view, go over to my Patreon channel and uh, consider subscribing over there. I forget how many unique members posts are over there, but there's got to be, well, I think it's about 170 now, I might be mistaken, but well, there you go. Um, so, as I said, stay safe, stay well, keep taking the pictures, and I'll speak to you very soon. Toot root.